we don't serve God in sprinting. We are not trying to impress people. <laughs> great man, great runner. God is not looking for Usain Bolt. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Unfortunately, some people are Usain Bolt in ministry. <laughs> Days of beautiful, he is listening at all time, he never fearing what he does. Lord of who is name, Jesus Christ, I leave him. He forever stand for his church, backbone of his people, ever listening, never deny his people, Jesus Christ, living him, oh, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. And the end is forever, never change. It's authentic in His word. Jesus Christ, I live in you. Never fear, Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, sing it now. Raise up your voice. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. He's hold on me. I will pull every shame. It's only your name. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ, my living Oh, one more time, Jesus Christ, my living Oh, Jesus Christ, my living Matthew 24, verse 24 for false cries and false prophet will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm also going to read from First uh, Peter chapter one, verses seven to ten. First Peter chapter one, verses seven to ten. That the genuineness, everybody say genuineness. genuineness, genuineness of your faith be much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Verse 8. Whom having not seen you love, though now you do not see him yet believing, you rejoice with joy, inexpressible, unspeakable, full of glory. Verse 9 Receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your soul. I was going to be reading from the book of Psalm 24, verses 4 to 6 psalm 24 verses 4 to 6 he who has clean hands and a pure heart 
who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the Lord God of his salvation. This is Jacob. Everybody say, This is Jacob. The generation of those who seek him who seek your face today we are going to engage in intercessory conversation with god and the title of our intercessory conversation will be genuine generation everybody say that genuine generation all right amen, amen. genuine what does the word genuine mean if you look at the Bible portion I've read for you, you have been able to craft out the typical statement I just said, the typical phrase that I just made just now. When you are ministering, it's very important that the Bible verse you read should depict the typical uh, phrase that is going to lead the people on to the message. Hallelujah. And it's by little by part of theology. That's what I learned. Hallelujah. Right, you can read here, and the top topic is over here. <laughs> it also come from the introductory verses. Hallelujah. Genuine generation. What is the meaning of genuine? The word I want to take here is the genuineness. I want to take there. What does it mean to be genuine? Genuine is truly what something or somebody is said to be what something or somebody is said to be it could also be likened to authentic if you say genuine means authentic sincere or reliable beyond being right or real wow look at that so genuineness is heavier than rightness genuineness is heavier than realness people often ask me are you real is that real is that right but genuineness is stronger than those and today we have seen in our race as christians in the kingdom of god we've seen that there's a need for us to pray to recover the entire essence of the gospel which is genuineness the gospel given to us by christ is the gospel of genuineness a genuine gospel and we that are representing christ on earth as ambassadors we are called to be genuine a clear picture products of what we consume in the kingdom products not the opposite not approximation but genuine representation of what the kingdom attributes are all about but unfortunately today we've gotten so many pictures of assemblies and gathering that are so variegated from the truth and so it appears as if god is never listening god is never reckoning with the church again it looks as if the church is now on his own and god is no longer paying attention and we look at the entire scripture we look from genesis all the way to revelation we saw when god was intervening in specific lives he was always in contact with genuineness and one of the reasons why apostle paul was able to write two third almost two thirds of the new testament gospel of christ was because of this very simple fact of genuineness 
Go find the man as a man who is truly going to be a total representation without approximation of his impression. And God has been very hungry looking for men of genuineness. And we are going to pray for genuineness to surface. Amen. This ministry is built on the foundation of genuineness. And this foundation can no longer any man lay which is the foundation given by Apostle Paul and the disciples. And I'm asked to pursue with all adherence our ministry the gospel of Christ in this campus will remain the gospel of genuineness of the kingdom of God. And God is passionate for this ministry. It's passionate for you. It's passionate for everyone here. And God is ready to do exceedingly far above what you can ever imagine. But is waiting for every individual to connect with this genuineness. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> ah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Authentic, sincere, reliable, beyond being real or, or right. Act of the Apostles, chapter 13, verse 21. Act 13, verse 21. And afterward, they asked for a king. So God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Verse 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as a king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David. The son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all of my will. Two things, a man after my heart. Second, who will do all my will. <laughs> not some, not few. All, it was a whole. All. A man after my heart. Who will do all? Look at the war. God was looking. If He say, "I found," that means He was looking. Oh wow! God has been looking for men of genuineness. It's true that God begotten the whole Israel, but God was searching over years a man of genuineness. He said, I found. How can the creator of the heaven and the earth be saying, I have found? What was he doing before? Does it mean he can't see the whole world? He doesn't know what is going on in the human being? How is he so more of importance to Samuel, to tell Samuel, I have found? How can God be searching? Even his look alone can capture the entire heaven and earth. He knows where everybody's hiding. But why is he saying, I have found? That's how important the freedom he gives to humanity to make a choice when it comes to genuineness. Genuineness belongs to you. It's not the work of the Holy Ghost. What do I say? Uh -huh. I'm gonna make this understood very well. That you don't confuse that with oh when the holy ghost quick came and activate me to be holy and train me out to be holy this is two different thing here i told you genuineness is not about rightness or holiness it's about your inclination to all the precepts the will of god not just commandment hallelujah what do i say everything that matters to god which might not necessarily be seen Genuineness, genuine generation. Are you part of them? God is waiting to raise generation that will be genuine. 
We've had so many adulterated generations in the past. And that misconstrued the young generation. They misconstrued the young generation in their time that have now grown older. And still cannot get out of the trap of misinformation. But God says, enough is enough. Because I will raise soldiers, military men, that shall do my task just like my servant David that I found who is now going to do my will all my will are you part of them today you are going to rise up on your feet and say Lord Jesus I am ready for your finger to do according to all your will say that It is time, Lord. Yeah, yeah. It is time. No longer can you tolerate. Partiality. I've done job, incomplete job. A job that does not come from the heart. Who can ascend the heel of the Lord? Not only that he that is all is clean, but he that is all is pure. It is time, Lord. Oh. Enlist me, cause my soul, my heart to do your will. <laughs> In Jesus' name, we have declared. Amen. You take this prayer nice, serious. It's the very one of the unusual ones. Amen. President, I've told you there's some message that will be coming that will be very unusual. Have you seen? Very, very unusual. Because I myself, I don't know what is going on. All I know is that the Lord will whisper to my ear. He said, Develop it. That's the next message. Develop it. I waited and waited and waited and waited until a few hours as I was listening to that music. Said, that is the word. Develop it. God is waiting for you to step on the platform of genuineness so that it can find into action. On your behalf he is waiting that's that's his passion there's nothing he cannot do but there are some things he will be restricted restricted from doing because genuineness can't be found genuineness can't be found we're going somewhere A man after my heart. Why is God so concerned about his heart? It's just obeying the commandment should just be enough. But it went further beyond commandment. Are you with me? It went further. He said, My heart. <laughs> It's very important to me. Hallelujah. And that's why if God is going to hold anyone, if we have to first look at his heart, he said, You remember somewhere, he said, I do not see as man sees. I do not look as man looks. He said, Man looks unto the appearance. But I go look into their heart. It's very important to me. Connection that I have you have with me is important than service attendance than a showy business i need a man who 
motive of discouragement opposition that you were stuck for me either in the open or in the closet a man who can stand alone even when discouragers are all over the place even when the environment does not suggest any encouragement to encourage somebody to grow in faith it's a man who will stand he said i found the man what did he find him in the wilderness the man was busy nurturing sheep business-minded man ah ah everybody say ah tell me a christian who is lazy is a christian who is not genuine amen because everything about god is about commitment hard work and the bible says he walks six days he walk and the seventh day he rested that's his heart but a religious man will tell you that the lord doesn't want us to suffer they will tell you the blessing of God make it without you know without this so that's true amen but the Lord himself walked six days and the seventh day he considered himself to have rest he did not rest in the first second third fourth fifth day not in the sixth day he kept walking but yet he is God tell me a man that give excuses then you need to check the genuineness whether there is a question mark genuineness many people have got into ministry and commence ministry without a taste of genuineness planted ministry in the name of pleasing people in the name of making people happy and in fact arrange for themselves followers in fact gives themselves supporters but along the line god sees this is merely doing this work without the spirit of genuineness even though they have crowd but God couldn't find genuineness and then they struggle when it matters when they were supposed to hear God one great man of God before that he said one thing he missed he said so it was clear I had them in an interview he said what would you change if you come again if God is to restart you again, He said, I will have changed spending more time with the Lord than doing more crusades. Then I, I thought about that confession. I said, There is something missing along the line. Very possible for people to arrange crowd for you, particularly in this community. They will arrange crowd for you. That your capacity can't carry imagine ingenuine person managing crowd who are they praying to what kingdom is he representing god will see the never be looking okay between your job you see as men that call upon the name of the lord <laughs> so what shall be safe be in that category but when it comes to the secret of my debt it's not for you because you did not allow me to finish my job on you you started ministry and it appears as if it was your effort that got you there but it was an arrangement that got you there there are so many of such God told me personally God specifically was telling me in a classroom that was in about some days ago 
They said, listen, can I tell you the truth? I said, sir, yes, sir. They said, because it, it came to my dream. A conductor some things for me. I'm not going to tell you what I saw in my dream, you know, some days ago. And, I, and he told me, he said, I'm about to do great things. <laughs> but don't worry. And at a point in time, I pray in that dream, pray and pray and pray and pray till I woke up. And I saw myself pray. And my room was filled with the heavy power of the anointing. This never has happened to me. But for a long time. Hallelujah. What did you just do, Daddy? You make me to pray from the dream talking to you. And I know what that means. Amen. Now told me, look, I'm in operation. I'm at work. Don't worry. He came to my classroom. He told me, he said, look, you've watched that. You've seen that. You've seen this. You've seen that. So don't look at that. Look at my work with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you with me, guys? God make me to understand we have business together. He sat me down. I was hearing him clearly. Clean heart. Clean expression. So allow me to finish my job. It is my job. What about if I rush you in and they trample on you? Allow me to finish my job. Hallelujah. He said, remember that one there? What do you see? See the waste ministry? How do you feel in your heart? I see, and I told the Lord, I said, I felt I have more measure than this man. He said, that's true. But I'm not releasing you yet. Hallelujah. God is a God of genuineness. When the time comes, when the time comes, it will come back in you. It will come back in you. Thus says the Lord, for I will do a new thing, and it shall spring forth. Hey, comparing self with self is not wisdom. What is the level of our genuineness with the master? Can you imagine the entire old Israel? He was looking. For the entire millions of Israel, he was looking. Who is genuine? Who is genuine? I have found. <coughs> he suddenly entered into a particular place. I have found a man of my heart, after my heart, in the house of Jesse. Hey, before David started doing the will of God, it has already been known he was going to do the will of God. Are you with me? Uh -huh. You, you have a part to take. The path to take is called the path of genuineness, sincerity, authenticity. You are not doing things anyhow. And Jesus was to summarize it. He said, Let your yes be yes. And let your no be no. That a proportion of your activity and your speakings or trances with the inclination of your heart. And in a man of genuineness. Not if this one will make pastor happy. No. What do I say? No. It won't last. 
it never going to last let this make pastor happy it's a matter of time you'll be gone it is a matter of if god will be excited at this i've seen a man who will do all my will god is one now looking he said he said likes attract see god was looking but because of this man the way he positioned himself god found him amen out of many people god found him because the way he positioned himself he was not the one looking oh god i pray to you now let me be holy god father ha, help me mm -mm. god found him <laughs> you said in your business there's no time to be sincere and genuine no your business your occupation your commitment to secular things does not prevent you from being genuine david was busy with the chief when god told samuel go and anoint him he was not in the place expected he was not busy in the room and playing religion but he was in the field doing job amen he was in the campus committed to his study hallelujah how will you separate your study from commitment to god it was god was inside everywhere in his research project in the courses that he's reading is finding god in every business he's undertaking genuine man it's not praying because the hour of prayer has come like the pharisee but he prays whenever prayer finds him hallelujah <laughs> ah may the holy ghost make you understand deeper Amen. i'm explaining when he's in the midst of friend he's not ashamed of who he's carrying around a genuine man and when you hear him preach the gospel he preach the gospel from the point of concrete concrete concretization experience he preaches the gospel from experience of relationship with god not because pastor says you go and preach no he was committed to taking care of the sheep and the brothers were at home sleeping observing probably siesta but this man was sincere faithful taking care of the sheep and i believe when he was taking care of the sheep he will be praying for them do not allow the wolf to capture the sheep oh lord god almighty i know you have been with me for my childhood i've been feeling your presence i know you are here it is the managing every business with god's presence no wonder god gave him power when one of the bear came in into the into, into the into the into the food of the sheep what happened the anointing came upon him the power of god came upon him even when he was not yet anointed god highs was already centering on this man god gave him energy from nowhere and he tore what he tore the beer into pieces ordinary man killing a beer with the beer hand because of his loyalty to his work a defender not because he's asked to defend his faith but he knows he needs to defend his faith he needs to stand sincere into what he's doing the father was not there he could have made excuses and say well father you know the bear came i couldn't fight i couldn't do anything and they killed all the animal it could have been a good excuse right mm -hmm. but well the father was not there he was lawyer committed to the assignment given to him what a sincere man gentle person because okay i like this person who under no supervision 
under little or no supervision, he can carry out his assignment. I love this man. Let me get this man to do the job of kinship. Wow. Genuineness. What do we do when no man sees us? It's what makes us to be what we are. It's what God sees. Amen. How we represent him deep down in our heart. It's what God reckons with it. It's what God reckons with. And you ask our we ask ourselves, why are some prayers not being answered? Why are some prayers being answered speedily? It's because of all these things. Who can ascend the heel of the law? Not those whose hand is only pure. I mean, their hand is only clean. But those whose heart are pure. We've been bastardized by statement of religion in the past. By old professional Christian in the past. Who are half-hearted relationship with the Lord. And they take Bible verses. And take it from the surface. And throw it at our face. And say... I said, that will be holy. You can't make heaven. They stop there. <laughs> they what? And they put the button of making heaven on our shoulder. You must obey the letters. And if you do not, you won't make heaven. Now, this put us in a jail, in a prison. Instead of exploiting this genuine demand, that the Lord is asking for. Remember Ahaziah when a prophet was sent to him and he told him, The Lord said, You are going to die in your bed because you went to Bezebub to go and seek the face of an idol for whether you are going to be healed of your sickness, the disease you have in your feet or not. He said, Because of that, is there no God in Israel? He said, You will die. But the man immediately turned his face to the water and cried and he petted. That's a genuine connection. Amen. Immediately, God sent the prophet back. Can you see what I'm talking about here? God sent the prophet back. He said, I have seen him because he has cried unto me. The man turned his heart apart and pushed his heart towards God. I said, Lord, I'm done with all this. I'm giving everything to you. I want to change. Help me out. God saw the genuineness and they sent a the prophet back. And see, God, because of genuineness, could repent. <laughs> could repent. Amen. Say, God does not change, right? Uh -huh. God is not a man that he will repent. Okay, let me get another example. God said he was going to destroy the entire Israel completely. He said he will raise new generation through Moses that will worship him. And Moses out of genuineness. Moses put everything on the table. What is your prayer statement these days? How do you place your prayer statement on the platter of intercessory plate before God? How do you dissect your prayers? Does the prayer represent genuineness? God saw genuineness in the intercession of Moses to God. He said, if you destroy these people, he said, the Gentiles will cry. He said, it's better for you to destroy me. That's genuineness. And the Bible says, God repented of his evil. Ah! How can God repent because of a man? Rise up on your feet. Whatever I have done wrong that is making you to run away from me, that make my prayer to be crawling today, forgive me. Let it go. I repent. I come to you with genuineness today. I've been playing around with you. I have been toiling with you. I've been toiling with your heart. Enough is enough. I will no longer do that. Rasta la molentara la shalama kutayata. It is time to give up myself to you. No more cover up. 
No more cover up. It is me and you in conversation. No more hiding. For where shall I hide from your spirit, Lord? Lord, no more hiding. No more cover up. I open up myself to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Say that. Father. Sharama Kurama Kesh. Why will I go in your presence, Lord? Why will I be very moved myself? Why will I go from your presence, Lord? Oh, I have come. I have come. I I have come. Where will I go from your presence, Lord? Where will I be if I leave you? Shall it be if I cover up before you? How we be alone? All by myself. How we be alone? All by myself. I have come. I have come. Hold on my heart to you, Lord. Lord I, I have come, and I, I have come to give all to you. I have come, I have come. Hold on my heart, Lord. I have come, I have come to give all to you. I see what is in there. Where will I be? If I leave your presence, where will I go? If I run, 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 run away, what shall it be? If I do, I cover up. I will be alone. Oh, my child. I will be alone. I will be alone. By myself. Thank you, Father. That you never left, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I come to you with sincerity. I come to you with open heart. Thank you, Father. I come to you opening up my mind. In Jesus' name, have your sin. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12. What you are doing these nights, night upon night like this, you are redeeming your future. Do not take all these things for granted. Make sure you are documenting your attendance in your file, your write up, word of prophecies, revelation that the Holy Ghost is speaking to your ear as you are hearing these words because all these things will redeem the future for you they will all come to pass they are going to second corinthians chapter 1 verse 12 for our boasting is in this the testimony of our conscience that will conduct it ourselves in the world in simplicity and godly sincerity that is genuineness that is what helped apostle paul the disciples simplicity and godly godly sincerity that's what genuineness means not with fleshly wisdom 
but by the grace of God and more abundantly towards you. Nothing of the flesh is at play in their functionality and operation both in the household of God and outside doing things, secular things. They, when you see a complication, then you see genuineness missing. This mystery of the existentiality of the world is simplicity. Amen. Hallelujah. Simplicity. It required a divine visitation to the spirit to be able to explore the wisdom of simplicity. It's not as simple as you think. Common spiritual sense isn't common. Hallelujah. Genuineness. Genuine generation. God is waiting. Is waiting to have that heritage. God is waiting to have that heritage for Himself. Genuineness is the essence of His manifold presence. And the, and and the Bible make, made us to understand in the book of Acts, chapter two, towards the you know, towards the last the verses that towards the end last three verse four verses now he was saying that and they were together in one accord sharing words right breaking bread together and with simplicity of a oh, look at that look at it go, go check it out the last four verses of the Act of the Apostle chapter 2. 46. Read that for me louder. Microphone here. Read that 46 for me clearly. A lot of you are not read uh, open the Bible. Nobody have opened it yet. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Wait a bit. Simplicity, genuineness. And what God, did God do? What did Praising God, God do? and having favor with all people. And the what Lord. What happened? They start having favor. With all people. <laughs> what next? And the Lord added to the. The Lord took the business to Himself. I told it on Sunday. I said the business of God growing His church is God's project, it's not human project. Your part is simplicity. We've been misinformed. <laughs> I was included among them too. I was misinformed. Until I found the clarity in the scripture. People are reading the Bible partially. Because they don't spend time. They don't spend time. I'm not going to spend time looking at the Bible. Spend time. To hear the owner of the word. When I be sent to sit down for three hours and be thinking, no. I mean, taking your time to hear. I know my sheep. My sheep know me. I speak to them, right? They hear my voice. And the voice of stranger, they will not what? They will not listen to. Sincerity means, sincerity means you are taking your time. To hear God that is speaking. Sincerity. When you see an insincere person, it will tell you, how can I hear God speaking? As an insincere person. You can't carry the Holy Ghost and the Lord is not speaking. He is speaking. You are just not listening. He said it himself. I know my sheep and they know me. He said, I will never leave us. He said, I will never, he will never leave us fatherless like an orphan. Now, somebody is asking me, how can I hear God? You're confusing me. That's it. That's it. 
that's a confusion right there confusing question what i'm going to respond is that have you received the holy ghost have you received the holy ghost should be the next should be the clear reply i'm not going to open your ear and put knife and <laughs> make sure that you can hear god no mm -mm. we'll be misinformed they make christianity to be a burden on our shoulder and they said my yoke is easy and my body is light come unto me huh huh and learn of me for i am lowly in earth lowly in earth right lowly l-o-w-l-y lowly i'm very humble very tolerant wow and they gave us the gospel that looks like God must be feared and run away from. <laughs> We're really in trouble. God must be feared and run away from. No. God must be feared and must be worshipped and served with sincerity, with genuineness. I'm the friend of those who seek me. Those who seek me will find me because they seek me early. Seek the Lord when he can be found. Amen. And what attracts him to you finding him is because you are genuine. Your conversation is genuine. And he will listen. It's actually demanding you to talk to him. It's demanding. So I'm ready to have conversation with you. You cannot sit down on a neutral bench. Keep saying, well, a day is coming, I will understand God better. I oh. <laughs> understand God better. God is so complicated, right? So he cannot, he cannot relate. You have to scratch your body. Because you can relate with him. No, he didn't say that. He said, all I'm looking for is genuineness. When you come to him with genuineness. In fact, he will be the person to look for you. Amen. You will come around. Behold, I stand by the door. It means that he is interested. He came around, right? You're going to have to be genuine. Open the door. You bring him in. And you ask him to sit down. He's genuine. He will have conversation with you. It's not about him, it's about us. Amen. He has no problem. Amen. He said, I know my sheep. And they, it's been commanded that the sheep must know him. They must hear him. You must hear. Now the question is, why am I not hearing? Because I'm not genuine. In relationship with him. This day you start being genuine, words that you hear will no longer be multiples in your ear anymore let if let your eyes be single you know what it means if your eyes be single so your vision is clear so also your hearing you don't hear any multiple no more second guesses Sincerity will throw, will trust second guesses. And you will know this is really the Lord speaking to me. I pray that the spirit of genuineness will enter up everyone in this church. Principles of genuineness, number one. What are the principles of genuineness? You want to really examine. When can it be said genuineness is operational? Genuineness is present. Number one, 
in the principle of genuineness momentum is more important than speed just as marathon is more important than sprinting take a look at that and think about it take a look at that second time after you type and look at it momentum is more important than speed just the same way as marathon is more important than sprinting in the house of genuineness what does that mean we don't serve god in sprinting we are not trying to impress people great man great runner god is not looking for usain boats <laughs> no no sorry unfortunately some people are usain boat in ministry and then ministry gets somewhere in the future they suddenly just lose themselves in the crowd they lose themselves into the crowd god is no longer relating with them they are just being used and dumb kind of people this honorable vessel that's usain boat ministry usain boat ministry what have you heard today i told you i'm going to hear strange things amen you have never had in your life who same boat ministry is all over the place and you will see them in, in in youtube who same boat ministry they will use all kind of gimmicks to make people watch them <laughs> all kind of gimmicks just to have followers amen. god is not looking for what who same boat ministry Sprinting. Sprinting. They will say anything. You have to make it interesting and attractive. That's not the gospel. Momentum is the quantity of motion of a moving body. The quality. The quantity of motion. Measure as a product of what? Of its mass and what? velocity somebody can be very high mass and running gently but the higher momentum than somebody going fast a particle going very fast at a high speed no momentum hallelujah what do you carry more important than the destination you are going what do you want what you carry what you want to carry there <laughs> let god prepare you genuineness requires that you are patient and let god finish his job on you genuineness requires that you don't have more to the value that is being processed you leave the value the way it is and you represent the value you are at a particular moment you don't hard to it you don't make people look at you as if you are more than what you are remember the definition of genuineness describing and presenting something just the way it is it is what it is not it is what it should be <laughs> it is what it is you are what you are not what you should be it's like taking people's idea and hand it to yourself and making people look as if you are better than who you are really. Who's in both ministry? Marathon! God is waiting for that. When they marathon, people that are in marathon, they don't look at them that much. But when they say they want to do 100 meter, ah, the old student will be filled up. But the marathon, when the marathon is doing, I just, I just, sometimes I shut down my TV, I go somewhere else, you know, I do something else. But when they say sprinting, ah, <laughs> praise the Lord, I will be watching, ah, who's going to win? <laughs> Cloud. But you know that the people that do the marathon, they do much more job. Yeah. Than the Usain both people, they do much more job.
from several miles. Never tired, never give up. Genuineness. Allow God to process you. Genuineness. The sprinting focuses on the short term rather than the what? Long term. The marathon focuses on the long. When you are committed to service of God, you are looking at things or whatever you do in the perspective of the future. You are not a toddler being stores here and there. In your view, should be marathonian principle. That's a word like that. You have to have foresight looking very far. What I'm doing today, what is the aim? What's the goal of what I'm doing? Where, where is this whole thing going to head to? Marathon. That's genuineness. And God is looking for that. How do you see me as your God? You know, the disciples were following Christ. They were all happy. Happy little jumping. You know, at a point, look at them. Who do you guys think I am? I am really. Ah. Okay. Who do you think I'm what? I am. They all look. One man opened his mouth. You know that man? No wonder he was given the leadership of the church. It was on that point I discovered a secret why Peter became the general overseer of the first church. He said, You are truly the son, they cried, the son of God. He said, mm. It's not was not just what he said that made a difference, not the letters. But the intensity, the genuineness of the statement, the revelation inside it. I say, he said, said, flesh and blood have not revealed it's what revelation has not revealed this unto you. Because God saw the genuineness in man more than what he said. Because the Lord God Almighty saw in Peter genuineness in a revealed to him power. That Christ can hear. Language only Christ can hear. Are you following me? Yes, sir. It was the genuineness of Peter that had him general overseer of the entire mission. It was not the strength. God could have waited for Apostle Paul, who wrote almost two thirds of the entire gospel, New, New Testament. He could have. He didn't. It didn't make him the general overseer. Even though he appeared to him in a dream. But this one man whose heart was steady, was ready, was say the way it is. Even much more than opposed to Paul. If opposed to Paul also have his own part of it. God said, look, it's written. He said, feed my lamb. How many of you remember that verse? And the second time he said, feed my lamb. Third time he said, tend my lamb. You can wonder, you say, oh, this thing depends on how big a gift I have. How popular I am, no, no, sir. <laughs> it is about this sincerity thing, genuineness between you and God. It can take your destiny to where no man can ever think about. And you will see people you foresee as great giants in faith, they will be there and you overtake them suddenly. That is what we call God saying, I have found the man 
in the house of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. That's the category he belongs when that happens. Very dangerous. Compare it yourself with yourselves. Not in this gospel. Because this gospel is full of mystery. There are so many things we don't know that God knows. God looks into the heart. The way God elevates people is a mystery. And it's a twin brother with genuineness. Always in the Bible. And God talk about Job. He said, you devil, you've been wandering around and he wandered around all to going to, to and fro. That's what the Bible says. He was going to and fro and he came. <laughs> when the children of God gather, right? The devil also came to gather. He don't go and fro. And the Lord specifically said, have you considered my servant Job? God is talking and you open your mouth and argue. Who are you? God is 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 standing for someone are you with me god who has found the man of Isaac, and you open your teeth is it because you see surround him and cover his you know that's why he didn't deny you he said okay 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 but go and touch everything but do not touch his what he so And after he concluded his job, he was disappointed. <laughs> that job never worked. Genuineness. God is the mayor of it, not human being. When genuineness comes to play, God's time to be proud of you at all times. This is the high, high, is this this is a pinnacle. An epitome of God's defense for, for his people. When God says, I'm your defense, he has found sincerity. When God says, I will go before you, he has found sincerity. He has found sincerity. Sincerity. Genuineness must come out amen. amen must exude from today must exude must start manifesting amen. in our lives Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 Hebrews 12 verse 1 <coughs> therefore we also since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily snares us. Let us run with endurance. Sprinting? No. Sprinting? No. With what? Endurance. All right, that's marathon. The race that is set before us, that's marathon. Bless you. Genuineness. Precept upon precept, lines upon line, Bible on today, tomorrow, prayer meeting, attendance, evangelism, faithful, Sunday service, committed, visitation, committed, ah, and they start consistent, doing it from all his heart, my friend, you are not going to escape God's mercy, amen. You know, it's giving God's mercy, God's kindness. We will be shown unto you. You won't have any cause to complain. This is what I know. Are you with me? I do know it. I do know it. This is real. Genuineness. Number two.
gospel is the power of God unto salvation. The voice of God does not condemn.